katha means story in hindi this is truly a story of a khazana which means treasure the treasure with which our children are supposed to build the future of our nation the innovative spirit at katha overwhelms you as soon as you get past its gate from the architecture of the building to the paintings all over its walls to the names given to myriad learning activities and the feel the way children relate to their environment it was started in the slum of gobindpuri in south delhi by geeta dharmarajan it is one of the most notable efforts to help slum children become as skilled as the best anywhere in their age group this is the first day of the one laptop per child program when 30 laptops are handed over to the children as they assemble to explore what it can mean to them they have been assembled in this room representing various grades age groups and as you can see they seem immersed in exploring its various features from visual to audio to the various functions this child is measuring the distance between two chosen laptops this one is learning how to say her name there they sit under the winter sun and can work on the laptop without glare they are eager to learn share explore enjoy miss rao harnessing the creativity excitement and innovating capabilities of the children as she teaches them color illustration mera naam mulla rao hai main last 7 8 ईयर से बच्चों के साथ काम कर रही हूँ यहाँ पे और बच्चों के साथ काम करते हुए यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छा लगता है बिकॉज मेनी क्रिएटिविटी कम्स आउट फ्रॉम देम और इनके इन चीज़ से काफ़ी फ़ायदा होगा बच्चों को मीन्स आ इनोवेटिव थिंग्स विल बी देयर दे आर टू मच एक्साइटेड टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स दे वट इज़ अ कंप्यूटर एंड वट थिंग्स वी कैन लर्न फ्रॉम देम क्योंकि उनके लिए एक नई चीज़ होती है तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मतलब कलर के साथ तो वो बहुत ज़्यादा जुड़े होते हैं तो कलर इलास्टेशन में बच्चे ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंस देते हैं उनके लेस्टेशन काफी बाहर मतलब काफी अच्छी तरह से बाहर आता है अजय द कंप्यूटर टीचर इज स्ट्रक बाय द नेटवर्किंग कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ द लैपटॉप इंक्लूडिंग चैटिंग एनिमेशन एंड प्रोग्रामिंग दैट अ चाइल्ड कैन क्रिएट मैं एज ए कंप्यूटर टीचर बच्चों को क्लास कंप्यूटर क्लासेस एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर डिजाइनिंग वेब डिजाइनिंग डी ये सारी क्लासेस लेते हैं बच्चों के लिए देखिए अभी तक बच्चों के लिए जिस तरह का बताया ओ के बारे में कि ये हर बच्चे के पास एक कंप्यूटर होगा और आपस में इनकी कनेक्टिविटी है जो वाईफाई इसमें ऑलरेडी है जो ऑटोमेटिक कनेक्ट होते हैं उसकी एक रेंज भी पता लगी है बच्चे अपने घरों में भी एक दूसरे से कनेक्ट कर सकते सौ मीटर की रेंज और उसके बाद आगे कंटिन्यू रेंज इसकी जो बता रहे हैं उसके हिसाब से अब बच्चे आपस में चैटिंग कर सकते हैं एक ही प्रोग्राम पे जैसे गेम खेल रहे हैं बच्चे आपस में कंपटीशन दूर दूर बैठ के का ठीक है आप अब तो बच्चों के घर में फ़ोन भी हैं तो फोन पर अच्छा आ जाए गेम खेलना है तो अपना लैपटॉप लेके बैठ जाओ मैं अपना लैपटॉप लेके काम कर रहा हूँ अगर जो ये आ गया तो बच्चों के लिए तो बहुत अच्छा रह गए जो एनिमेशन क्रिएट करते हैं उसका प्रोग्रामिंग भी बच्चा देख सकता है किस तरह से एनिमेशन होता है दिस टीचर हैज क्रिएटेड अ प्रोग्राम टू हेल्प चिल्ड्रन प्ले तो मुझे लगता है कि ये जो बच्चों को लैपटॉप मिले हैं इनसे बच्चों को बहुत फ़ायदा होगा क्योंकि जो टीचर्स वर्कशीट वगैरह बनाती हैं गेम के रूप में उसको बना सकते हैं और उससे बच्चे प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं जैसे मैंने इसमें देखा कि एक मैथ्स गेम गेम था तो उसमें बच्चे एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं कि किस तरह मतलब उनकी प्रैक्टिस हो सकती है मैथ्स में एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लीकेशन तो मेरे को लगता है कि छोटे बच्चों के लिए काफ़ी अच्छा है मेरे को लगता है कि बच्चों के लिए काफ़ी यूजफुल होगा as mr satish jha puts it i am excited about one laptop per child and i support the program in india and wherever i am needed i'm looking at uh, 
about 30 million children in India reaching out and accessing screen-based learning with the help of this laptop that we've created. Professor Negroponte heard the voice and the need of India, voice of children and the need of what India needs to do seven years back and he projected it into the future. We created something, he created something, Media Lab created something, which is a phenomenal product. What we can do is use it. By using it, we just might transform the way India learns. The future of India could depend on how our children learn how to use primarily screen-based techniques. Unless we learn how to use the screens, we are not going to be part of the world citizenship in the times to come. And the digital divide has made it very difficult for us. In fact, it's every day the divide is getting wider, deeper, broader. It's, a, it's already considered to be a chasm. If that's the case, we have to take very, very definitive steps. And I think it's a great step if we can work with this technology. It's the cheapest possible way of making India literate, computerate, world-class in learning. And uh, I hope our leaders, our chief ministers, our policy planners, our education secretaries, our technology you know, visionaries, they see the merit of it and move forward with it. But a child learns from ground zero. A child needs very different level of capacities, uh, tools, or skills. And we have seen in 60 years of India's independence that we are still way behind our initial target of uh, universal education. Education, the quality of education is so poor that kids who are in high schools, they may not have touched or seen computers. Now, if you're going to work on computers and you haven't seen computers, what will happen to us? What good are we going to be? So the basic issue is that our education hasn't kept pace with the changes which have come about in the global uh, ways of uh, educating, learning and uh, uh, skill building as such. We have to step up. Uh, in, in this direction as such. So I would say that, um, well, we, we, we all have to see the potential of this technology come together and move forward. I, I think it's, it's everybody's job and we are trying to reach out to the government, to corporate sector, to look, looking at corporate social responsibilities, non-government organizations, foundations, high network individuals, nearly everyone. We have to reach out to them to make them understand. If we don't have a citizenship, of people who understand the skills of today, we will not be able to honorably call ourselves members of the global society. So for, for that reason, if we don't have the skills, we won't be as productive as well. We need, we are projecting millions of people who we need in the next 10 years to support the global process that has become outsourcing. And that will not happen unless we have the skills. Right now, we are already way behind that curve. So we have to move forward. So I would say that each of us has to participate in this process. Whatever we have, whatever we can do at any point in time. If the budget, give it. If you can donate, please do. If you have social responsibility budgets, please donate it to schools. Adopt a village, adopt a block, adopt a tassil, adopt a district, adopt a state depending on the capacities you have. Move forward.